Hey, Jefferson here. So I'm going to show you an issue with uh, the phone. So you probably notice it should be churning the rotation, the orientation. It doesn't. It's not rotating anymore. It just stopped on its own. I didn't drop the phone and then it stopped working or something like that. So you, you got to check that the rotation button is on. Make sure it's not user error. And then of course this isn't working. And if I go under the pictures mode, right? You see? Uh, well, let me get up all the extra options. Anyway, here. See, you can see it, it, it thinks it's this way, but it should be rotating, right, when you take a picture. And actually, when, you, when, you, when I drag it down, you see it still thinks it's a, the rotation thing is still on. So it's some kind of weird software glitch. Um, so one way I tested it was I got CPU-Z is the program. Sorry, let me uh, show you that program again. So you can see the icon CPU Z. That's the program you want. Ah, ads. Okay, so I go under sensors, and let's see if you can see it there. Come on, zoom in. Maybe it's too close to the camera. Anyway, uh, let's see. There you go. Okay, I kind of got it. You can kind of see that the x-axis, you got to look at the very top, is negative 19.4. And then the next ones, as I rotate it, you'll be able to see well, that um, the numbers change. But for some reason, the x-axis is completely stuck at negative 19.4. I think it's like meters per, per second squared. Uh, if you took physics or something, you'll know why. Uh, it's a, it's the accelerometer, so it it determines when it when it flips, and it's stuck. So um, another app I used to double check it, just make sure it wasn't just one program. And actually, I already uh, there's there's other programs you can do. Um, so I called up Verizon. Uh, once I verified it was like a hardware issue, I called up Verizon and uh, verified it with them on the phone. Now I had, um, if you if you happen to have your phone rooted, you're going to have to unroot your phone uh, before you call the tech support line. Um, and there's a lot of stuff online of how to unroot it, which is beyond the scope. So that's pretty much uh, how you troubleshoot it. Unfortunately, there's no uh, real fix. I was thinking. I mean, it, you have a one-year Verizon um, warranty. I mean, if you can live with it, um, you might. Maybe it's a software issue, and then they're going to come out with a software patch, or maybe it's just a defect, and certain um, LG G3s just are going to poop out like that. But uh, yeah, so I hope uh, you get it fixed. Uh, so what I did was. I called up Verizon and uh, they're sending out a replacement and then I have X number of days to get it uh, returned to them and uh, so that they don't charge like 300 bucks for the full retail price. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, good luck on your problem.